the Whitby Dunlops home openers this coming Saturday, Iroquois Park Sports Complex in Whitby. And Steve Cardwell is the president of the team. And do you remember, what is it, 2005, 2006 cards when that that little, uh, the big league happened to have a lockout then too? Yeah, no, actually that was our very first year. That's nine years ago now. And it was actually a, a great way for us at the Whitby Dunlops to start the season. We had a captive audience and the crowds were unbelievable that year, Terry. So, so who cares if the if, fifty uh, fifty is not enough for the uh, players and, and the owners? We'll bring them out on Saturday night to Iroquois. Yeah, we keep saying give them seventy percent. We're we're happy with that type of offer. So, tell us about the team this year. How are we looking? You know what? I think this year is going to be a great year for the Dunlops. I I know we're going to have a very competitive team. We've been very lucky over the nine years. We've we've either finished first or second, and we've been to the league championship eight of the nine years. Uh, we, we're stacking up very strong. As I think most people know, the Norwood Vipers aren't playing this year, Terry, so we picked up four or five of their best players, and you put those with our nucleus, and we have a very strong team, I think very competitive this year. Who would you pick up, Steve, from Norwood? We've got uh, Steve Thomas, who is their captain and, and uh, certainly one of the more aggressive defensemen in the league. We've got Darren Doherty, who is the league's MVP from two years ago. Wow. Murray Free and Chris Johnston, uh, a couple of very good players in this league, so feeling very good about it. Yeah, uh, Murray Free was a former o- Oshawa General for a short time, I believe. And there's a lot of connections. There always seems to be a connection with the Oshawa Generals and the Whippy Dunlops. It's, there's an awful lot of, uh, I guess we have six former Generals or ties to the Generals with the Dunlops this year. Well, it's interesting, though, because um, Norwood is sort of the Peterborough, and Whitby is kind of connected to Oshawa. So, you know, you have to; those guys will have to put their uh, past sort of uh, differences. differences aside. <laughs> Play together. Yeah. You know what? It's interesting you say that, but I think it's been, a, it's been a strange and interesting dynamic when you see those guys come down this year. Obviously, uh, there's a, quite a history between the two clubs over the first eight years, and it's been very interesting watching those guys maneuver and, and uh, kind of indoctrinate themselves into the Whippy Dunlop organization. Uh, but they're all quality people, and uh, so far I give credit to our guys. It's, it's been a very smooth transition. And there's a new team now from Welland in the league this year. You know, Terry, it's gonna, that part of it's going to be interesting as well. Uh, Welland has a, a long and strong history in senior hockey. They've, they've been in over 30 years of the last 60 years. They've had a team in the Welland area. So I think they're going to be very strong. They have five or six ex-pros that are on – the roster at the moment that they're, they're looking to start the season with. And everybody gets underway this weekend. So Dundas looks to be strong. Brantford, I think, is going to be very strong this year. And, of course, Aurelia, Will, uh, Welland, and Whitby. It's going to be a very strong five-team league. And, and, Steve, I understand that at least to start the season, at least this is what I last heard, Peter McKellar is not going to be playing? No, I think th- this year Pete's very busy. He's got uh, strong commitments with his kids in, in minor hockey, and he's coaching a couple of different teams. So I think Peter's going to be one of those guys that, as he matures, it's going to be uh, probably less regular in the lineup. And, you know, for eight years he's, he hasn't missed a game. Uh, he's been a great captain, and I think uh, this year will be a little bit different. He'll be playing a little bit more part-time when, his, when, his, uh, you know, when he can. And uh, for us, it's a great thing because obviously he continues to be one of the best players in senior hockey in Canada. Perfect. Dundas Real McCoy is this coming Saturday night at 6.30. Go get them, Cards. We're looking forward to it. And all those people that come on out and see it, $10 at the door, it's going to be a great game Saturday night. we got to get them for last year's seven-game overtime. We lost. we got to start strong this year. That's right. We don't hate Norwood anymore. We hate the Dundas Real McCoys. There you go. Thanks, Steve Cardwell. I appreciate it. Steve Cardwell, president of the Whitby Dunlops. You can find them on the web as well, too, Whippy Dunlops. Dundas Real McCoy, Saturday night, 6.30, at the Des Newman Arena Complex, Iroquois Park, CKDO.